back it's a little bit all over the place hello welcome to my channel it's Asian Loves Fragrances I'm Hila I'm crazy about fragrances and today <sighs> finally get to try Dylan Blue from Versace it's a blind buy I know I'm supposed to stop blind buying but I can't stop it's a um, you know I, I it's a habit it's a bad habit um, and they say the first step is awareness, so I'm aware of it. So hopefully it will stop just because I am being aware of it. But I tried uh, the Dylan Versace Blue uh, Pour On for my son, but he didn't quite like it. But I quite liked its fresh aquaticness. And so I definitely decided then that I was just going to take the plunge. And I was going to try it because it was also on special offer at Notino. And I was like, yeah, it's a good opportunity for me to try this. So I'm just going to try it out before even checking out what the notes profile is. Because I didn't look at the notes profile. That's why this is like a complete blind buy. But here we go. Okay, I'm going to try it on my hand. Oh, nice little atomizer. Hmm. Okay, um, I got quite a little bit of a blast of alcohol right at the beginning. It's quite fresh. It's not as aquatic as the Paul Om version that I had. And that was like a proper sample, like with the Versace carded sample. So, hmm. I really want to like this. <laughs> Don't you just hate it when you buy something and you really, really want to like it? You really do because the bottle looks good. But you're like really struggling to find something that you like. It's so light. It's really, really light. Um, so like with the Versace Blue, the, the, the Paul Om, to me, it smelled like, um, you know, when you're at the beach and you come away and you're all full of salty water and sand and then you go and you have like this really nice cold shower because it's a hot day and you just get that ozonic smell around you and it's all water, blue water. That's what I wanted. And I'm not getting that. <laughs> It's my own fault for not reading the for not reading the notes profiles. But yeah, so it's been a few minutes now. I'm not getting it. I'm not I'm not getting it. I I'm not getting what the fuss is about this. I'm just gonna have a look at the notes profile uh, on Fragrantica. So uh Let's go. Typing in Versace. Oh, there's a new perfume. <laughs> Try not get distracted. Okay, here we go. Versace Paul Um Dylan Blue. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so it's supposed to have uh top notes of Granny Smith Apple, Black Current, Clover, Forget Me Not, and Shiso. Don't know what Shiso is or Shiso. I did get that sharpness at the beginning, so that might have been the um, the apple. I can't say I picked out on any black current whatsoever. Um, forget me not. Didn't even know they had a smell. Okay, middle notes are supposed to be peach, uh, rose hip, petalia, rose, and jasmine. Mm, the jasmine is beginning to come through a little bit. 
Base note is musk, white woods, styrax, and patchouli. A little bit of the musk, I guess. Um, yeah. I don't want to say it, but I don't think I like this very much. It doesn't smell very feminine either. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. This is the first perfume that I've had that I've outright not liked and I haven't wanted to try it again. Uh, so despite the fact that this is a nice bottle, this does not belong in my perfume wardrobe. No, it doesn't. I think what I will do is I will go back to the Dylan Blue, the Versace men's one, and that might actually be the first men's perfume that I might like wearing. So I'm going to try that one on me and see how I get on uh, with it because the whole reason that I got this was based on the good experience that I had with that one when I was looking for a perfume for my son. So, mm -mm. That's, that's my first Nana. No, thank you. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, please do hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, turn on the notification bell, you know, all of that lovely stuff that sends out positive energy into the world. I would appreciate that. And I'll also be back with another unboxing and another honest review and another chat about perfumes because I'm mad about perfumes. I love perfumes. I can talk about perfumes all day. I could wear perfumes all day. Um, so yeah, until next time, guys. Bye.